Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a message for my water signs, for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whether that is your sun sign, you have that, you know, in your chart somewhere, or you're just vibing in that energy. If it resonates with you, great. If not, let it fly, kind of thing. Um, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. Would love it if you would. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Whoops. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to hit that or bang that, so maybe someone's saying it like, oh crap, I, I screwed something up here, or they overreacted, but it could have been going on in a situation. Either way, before I hit record, I'm sitting, I'm sitting there thinking about water signs, and the only thing I could do was just stick my middle finger up <laughs> I was just like F this and I don't know if someone's saying that to another person like I'm so done with your crap F you or if they're just done with the situation but it's just I just started laughing like <laughs> I don't know it was just funny like mm, that type of energy and the first card that came out is something is wrong <laughs> so something's wrong in a situation and maybe you know it or someone's going, something's wrong here. Um, I don't know what I need to do, but something seems wrong. Because then we have silver sisters. Take uh, Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. So I feel like some of you could be... That's at the bottom of the deck. I haven't really shuffled much or I haven't really pulled cards. This one just flew out. So, But anyways, there is a level of protection here. And I feel like you're just blocking out negative energy which involves negative people anyone who means you ill will or anything like that and it's just like I don't know you're giving people the finger <laughs> that's pretty much what it feels like and someone might not want you to do that but they probably drove you to that point if you're doing it um or someone's doing that to you whichever someone's really sad without you crystals and stones are very significant but regardless you're just a memory I'll be your ghost story so, um, someone might be saying goodbye to somebody. It's kind of what that feels like. And they might not be very happy about it. Like, crap, this is over? Like, what the shit? <laughs> what happened here? Kind of thing. Um, well, if somebody wasn't on the up and up, that's probably what happened. Whether it was you, them, or someone tied to them that created this level of blindness. Because I feel like I am so over this situation. You know, if you're not there for me, basically kiss my ass. Like, that's what it feels like. Um, you and another person could be feeling the exact same way. And maybe you just have no clue that they're feeling that way. Because I just feel like this energy needs to dissipate. And a lot of you are doing what you can to make sure that happens. Because there's change and transformation here. Um, preparing for a fresh start in love and life. So it's just moving forward, letting go of outdated people, situations, places, all that stuff. It's like, you know, this isn't serving me. You're not serving me. My high is good, whatever. Goodbye. Um, bye, 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 bye. You know? Yeah. Someone might take their lucky shot because they don't want you to go away. Music is very significant. Could be song lyrics that are significant to the situation between you and another person, or you just get information that way, um, cause signs are everywhere. Cause I just want to start singing sign, sign everywhere, sign. And sometimes it fogs up your freaking mind. You know what I mean? But you're connected through music to the divine, but to another person. Cause music is extremely significant for someone. Um, some ones it's healing as well. I don't know. It almost feels like while well, somebody's working on themselves and healing through whatever this situation is, somebody else, their feelings are kind of fluttering away. It's like, okay, you got a band-aid over your heart. You're working on yourself because you've been wounded. And I'm not saying that water signs haven't been wounded, but whoever you're dealing with, they, they weren't as open to healing messages, I guess. So they were trying to cover up some type of painful situation or the pain that they were feeling and whatever. And through that, you, your feelings are slowly dissipating because it's like someone can only wait for so damn long because Scorpios, especially, I know this is all water signs, but Scorpios, this is a Scorpio card, bring in death, which is change and transformation. It's like, all right, well, we're going to end the smoke screen here and just 
um, make changes. Cheers. It could be with a friend, celebrations. There's a celebration coming up. That could be where music is coming in as well. Um, or something to do with, I don't know if this is like a bar scene or a party, a gathering, whatever it is. It's a social event. There's other people around, whether they're your people or not. You know what I mean? Um, and there's music playing. There's some significance with the music in that place. Like, whatever this moment was, is going to be. It's, this feels like it's already happened. So, something happened. Something was very significant to some of you when you were out and about and certain music was playing. No matter what that means. I just heard history repeating itself. So it could have something to do with that. Um, give me one of these real quick. Somebody was going off from unreliable information as well. So there could be somebody who thought that they were in the know, but they're not. It's almost like, I know this, this, and this about so-and-so, but they have no freaking clue what's going on with you or whatever. Um... Because there's some kind of information here. Someone could have got information from a drunk or someone who was drunk and whatever they said. I don't know, because for some reason, it's making me think of, like, usually people who are intoxicated, like if you're drunk or whatever. It's like a drunk, uh, a drunk mouth speaks a sober mind, which is the case sometimes. Um... But then when you're sober, you kind of retract it going, I wish I never said that kind of thing. So that could have happened in this situation between you and someone. Like someone could have told you, they could have lifted up your spirits or kind of got in touch with their feelings or said something to you when they were drinking. And then when they were sober, they were like, shit, I wish I didn't say that. Like whether they meant it or not, it was just like, I wish I didn't tell you <laughs> how I felt or I wish I didn't say this, this, and this, or I don't know. Someone was a little loose lipped when they were drinking was what it seems like. And I do feel like they were being honest when they were intoxicated. They just didn't want to own up to it when they, when they weren't something like that. It happened here. It happened here. That's what I just heard. So whatever that means to you. Uh, beauty's truth. Well, the truth. Someone spoke the truth when they were drunk. <laughs> and they tried to pass it off as though they didn't know what they were talking about. Because, oh, I was just drunk. Oh, it was just stupid nonsense. It wasn't. But anyways, beauty, physical pleasure, and sensuality. There could have been a sexual encounter here between you and someone. Um, when you guys were having a good time, basically. No matter what you were partaking in. But... <clears throat> I don't know, this feels very sensual. It doesn't feel like passionate. And well, there could be a lot of heat and passion and all that and desire and stuff, but this is more. I don't know. Some, somebody, <laughs> somebody could have spoke to you directly, texted you, messaged you, or something. And it had something to do with physical pleasure. Like, I don't know if you had an intimate encounter with someone, you know what I'm saying? Or if they were talking about what they want to do to you, what they enjoy, that they think about you, that they, you know, do nutty, nutty things with you in mind <laughs> kind of thing. Um, they physically pleasure themselves <laughs> because you're sexy, sexy or something. Male, female, doesn't matter. You could have told them this or they told you that. And they might have said it when they were a little tipsy, tipsy. Uh, but they meant it. But they meant it. Music is so significant. I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't. But. I don't know. I feel like. That just hit me out of nowhere. I feel wicked turned on all of a sudden. Um, someone's very attracted to you. I'm just going to say. Or you're very attracted to somebody else. Because this feels like. Hot damn. <laughs> like holy fuck um yeah someone's <sighs> I don't know <laughs> someone likes what the, the, yeah I can't talk now I feel like I'm just tripping over my words and I'm all like flustered and shit <laughs> what the hell um 
I was not expecting that. Maybe somebody wasn't expecting to feel that way about you, or there could have been an intensity between you and somebody else, and they were just caught off guard, like, uh, I was not expecting it to feel like this. Or even if you didn't actually sleep with whoever this is, it's just like being worked up, like being drawn to someone. Like, I almost feel like I'm coming out of my skin all of a sudden. Like, I can't stand this. Like, I, I want you so bad. Someone wants someone so bad. So bad. Well, what's wrong with this? Why is there such a wrong? Some, this is, like, very passionate. All right. Uh, da, 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 this one. All right. So, give me a little bit more on this. And then I'll look into what is wrong at some point. We'll see. Whatever comes out, comes out. You know what I'm saying? Um... I just have a good time with you is what I heard. This person needs liquid courage to talk to you <laughs> to move something forward because I feel like it could be a drinking buddy of yours, not necessarily, or just a friend. Um, so you could have had some, I don't know, you could have had feelings for a friend or they like you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I left you before you could leave me. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah, somebody definitely needs to heal. I already saw that. They have a band-aid over their heart. Um, <laughs> this person, I feel like whoever this is, they, they, I feel like I don't want to take advantage of the situation or I don't want to take advantage of you um, because I know I'm not in that place. So if feelings got tangled up in, in a passionate endeavor like between you and a buddy or whatever, um, I feel like... Somebody could have acted on impulse because they're very drawn to you, but when they're sober and they're logical and they're, you know, they're trying to re be reasonable or whatever and not hurt you or whatever, um, I keep saying or whatever because I don't know if it's you or them, but anyways, it just, it feels like, okay, I got carried away because maybe I had a few drinks or something and I couldn't, I feel like I can't control myself around you or there was a moment where... You know, you guys just let your guards down. And it's like, I don't want to do the F them and leave them thing. I don't want to be in and out. I don't want, I don't want to hurt you like that because I, I'm a little broken inside. I'm heartbroken. I need to freaking heal. I left you before you could hurt me. So it's like this person probably hurt you because they took off before you could because they were worried that maybe you would have. And there is definitely lessons tied to this. Like, don't rush, basically. But I feel like sometimes, you know, what it's like a perfect storm could have happened. Um, between the two of you. I don't know, whoever this is. They, they got it bad for you. They really do. And I feel like there's a little bit of regret in here. Because I kind of wish I handled things differently. So I don't know if that's a water sign feeling that way. Or if it's whoever you're dealing with. But somebody wishes that they handled things differently. That they had more self-control. That they communicated better. Whatever it is. Which is where the lessons are coming in. <coughs> because... Right now, I just, I feel like you both are healing from the situation. There's someone in the situation who just is healing themselves or working on themselves because they need to. And um, they know that. And it hasn't been easy and they didn't know where to start. Maybe you could have helped them with it or vice versa. But um, now, now, now it's me. Now it's me. Now it's me. Maybe someone's saying that. I don't know if it has to do with spiritual messages. Or information or whatever. It, like maybe somebody was watching tarot readings. Or someone could be talking about somebody else or whatever. And this person is, is basically saying like before. You might have thought that those messages were about me. For me or you know you them whoever. And someone saying, now this is me. Like, this is actually my story. Like, that's what that sounds like. That's, that's what it's making me think of, at least. And I'm not talking about me, Jessica. I'm just saying, someone's literally going, now that's, that's me. Like, I know this is me. So, someone's 100% sure that this message is for them, basically. Um, so, there's no 
wishy-washy waveriness when it comes to that. I don't know if it'll change. It's a general reading, so there could be multiple messages in here from multiple people. But anyways, um, this will heal. Someone does want to heal things between the two of you. They just don't know how because there's a level of embarrassment here too. Something's wrong. Something's wrong here. What is wrong? What is wrong? Earning back trust starting from the bottom. Yeah, somebody was going through some crap from the past. And they don't trust people. They really don't. It's not just you. It's almost like it's not just about you. It's like I don't trust myself or I don't trust people because they always get tempted away or they cheat or they do this or they do that. Like whatever the fuck it is. Deliver me from temptation. This person's so tempted by you. Like I said, I started off very passionately in here. Like, like, ha, huh, damn. Yeah, someone was extremely tempted <laughs> by you or you them, something. <sighs> like, fuck. I don't know. That's a race car. That's like, or a fast car. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyways, it looks like a sporty car. So this is, it's like something could have moved too fast and it's covered in rain. So that's like sadness and tears and, and pain and stuff. It's like someone's trying to move through the pain too fast. Someone's trying to move through the pain too fast. And they were tempted in, in a different direction. I don't know, pain, I feel like pain was caused in this situation because things did move too fast due to temptation. Someone got hurt. Someone got hurt. But you are very connected to whoever this is. So, yeah. What do we do now? <laughs> like, that's kind of what it feels like. So what now? What do we do now in this situation? Um, you move slow move forward slowly especially if you're going to connect or reconnect with this person um, just so that you guys have a better understanding of one another and what happened in the past like don't be afraid to hash things out and be open and honest um, tell the truth speak your truth and if you really feel like like I'm so like mm, drawn to you in in a sexy sexy way um and you feel like you can't control yourself maybe do this completely sober or I don't know so do something slowly set those healthy boundaries like okay like you know, we're getting to know each other. We could move forward in this way. Like, do things differently. Like, however you treat other men or women, do it differently with this person. Um, page of Swords, this person's paying attention. They could be learning things about you or they're just learning. <laughs> they're learning how to do things in the right way. Knowledge is power. Communication is key. And this can also be like, immature communication um someone's trying to figure out the connection because then there's the seven of swords there's stalker energy in here someone was stalking because this is legit stalking and there's some significance with music with that so i don't know if someone's like a singer or if they're in a band or if it's just you know, holding the boom box over your head kind of thing. Cause it's making me think of like the movie, say anything where he's trying to win her back and he's got, you know, in your eyes, you know, someone likes your, your eyes or something, but someone's playing games, head games. What the hell? Yeah. There is like, just a, that's legit stalker. Could be an ex of yours. Ooh, someone could be going to jail for this. Or this person has been to jail already. This isn't your love interest. No. This is somebody else. This is somebody else. It's an ex of yours or... Regardless of the status, like, like who they are, I guess. They're pa they have a lot of passion for you, definitely. 
And I know that other people do too. And they could be like using that against you or something. I don't know whether it's just blah, 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 hearsay, gossip, whatever. But someone is talking shit. They could be saying stuff online. But regardless of whatever they're saying, this person is literally keeping fucking tabs on someone. I don't know if it's you or who the hell it is, but they could end up in jail for doing this, but I feel like whoever this person is, they are a known trickster. They, they get in trouble with the law a lot. Whoever this is, they have already been to jail probably more than once. Um, I just heard if looks could kill. Uh, like, if looks could kill, you'd kill me right now by the way you're looking at me. Like, something like that. There's anger here. Someone was very angry with you. And it has something to do with friends. So I don't know if it has to do with their friends. Or just you guys know the same people or something. This person might be a little worried that their bullshit's going to get revealed. Or that they're going to get caught. But... I don't know, this person's been to jail before. And I feel like for some of you, this person's been in and out of jail. Like, I don't know, they're just a... They might as well just have a cell to them themselves because they're going to be back kind of thing. Or this is just someone who's... They've at least spent a week or something or a few days in jail. I don't know, they've been to jail. Uh, I feel like this is someone who spent time in jail... Or they've been multiple times or both. Like, that's really what I feel with this. Because I feel like if it was just a few nights, I don't know, there's someone... Okay, I don't know, it could be different for other people because I feel that in here too. So there there could be somebody else um, for some of you. Or you could have multiple people who have been to jail before who are causing problems. Because there feels like there's a mastermind here. Someone who's like playing chess. Someone who's being strategic. And then there's somebody else who is probably going to be the one who gets buried in this situation. Like, you know, I'm the mastermind. I'm the trickster kind of thing. There's someone who's doing that. And they're having somebody else be the face of the problem. Like, all right, this is all my plan. Like, whoever the hell this trickster person is, they pl they're planning this. They're telling someone what to do. And they're using someone. Like... Like, all right, you execute the plan because in the end, you'll go to jail. Not me. Like, that's what that feels like. Someone's doing that and it could be an ex of yours who is orchestrating this. And they're paying attention online. They're learning all about you. But there is worry here. This has something to do with fucking friends. It does. You think you won, but you didn't. Like, that's what this... I don't know. That's what I just heard, so I don't know what the hell that's about, but... Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm hearing in my head, but it's mean. Someone talks down to someone else. So I don't know if this strategic trickster person, this manipulator, basically, if... This person, whoever they're employing, I guess, to do something they shouldn't be doing, uh, do some illegal shit, stalk you, watch you, cause problems, whatever it is, they talk down to that person. Like, that person's a piece of shit. They're beneath them. Like, that's how this person talks and thinks and feels. And I do feel like whoever the hell they're dealing with is aware that this person does that, but it's like, oh, you're still my friend kind of thing. This person isn't their friend, I'm just saying. They're using someone as a scapegoat. Yeah, well, there's a terror moment with that. Someone might find out, like, I'm not going to be your scapegoat. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> and whoever this trickster person is isn't going to know what to do, but they're creating an illusion. Like, they could be creating confusion for you or for whoever's involved in this. And it's like... I don't know, this person's a liar. That's what I want to say. They're a liar. Their judgment is clouded as, as all hell, but... Someone 
in this situation, whoever this trickster person is using to do their bidding is clouded. They have clouded judgment because they don't really know what's going on. Someone doesn't really know what's going on. They don't know what the full plan is. They don't, they don't know what somebody's motives are. Something is wrong. Something is wrong, but this person can't see or they don't understand because... Because someone's very good at manipulating people. I'm just going to say. That's really what that looks like. It's making me think of a casino. <laughs> you, you know, where you can only win so much. And then they start, you know, cutting corners and doing what they need to do. So that, in the end, the house wins. That's kind of... This person's very tricky. They're extremely manipulative. They're good with their words. Um, Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Yeah, we're in this together. So someone's saying like, oh yeah, we're going to split this 50-50. You know, you do this, I do that. We're a team. <laughs> we're a team. We're in this together. Like, it's a, uh, you go down, I go down. I'll go down with you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. This No, this person is not going to go down with anyone. They're going to point the finger and blame it all on somebody else or bail completely like they were never part of anything. Because whoever that is, this trickster person, whoever the hell is behind the scenes, thinks that they, they've been hidden. Like, no one knows. There's, no, there's nothing that will tie me to this. But there is. Because, oh, no one will believe so-and-so because they're a felon, because they're a drug addict, they're a drunk, they're a whatever, you know, whatever it is. It's like, I can use you because you're a fucking loser and no one's going to believe you anyways because you're a liar and you're you're a con man or woman or whatever. So, um, and I'm not, I'm an upstanding citizen. Like, that's what this feels like. So there's like a, a level of superiority between people here. <coughs> Someone could have a good job. <clears throat> Like, to the world, they're a good man or woman, they're stable, they're secure, they have money, they have this, they have that, whatever, they're, they're kind, I don't know, whatever it is, but it's all bullshit, is what it is. It's a covert narcissist, probably a psychopath, too, just saying. Um, I just heard something, I'm not saying, I'm not repeating that. Um, it had something to do with a sexual innuendo, so we'll just leave it at that. Something to do with someone's panties, okay. Anyways, uh, leave it to your imagination. Yeah, um, someone's digging their own grave because whatever this is can be tied back to who whoever the mastermind is. And it's not about um, people believing someone. It's there's evidence. I don't know. Someone's someone's not as stupid as they look. <laughs> you, you know, it's like, oh, you, you think you think I'm an idiot? Uh, trust me, you're going down with my ass. Like, that's what this feels like. Like, if I go down, you go down, too. Oh, there's nothing on me. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Well, just wait and see. Because somebody is saving something. I got something tucked in the back pocket. Oh, I got, I got this in my back pocket. Somebody's got something in their back pocket. A trick up their sleeve. It's like, you can't con a con man. Like a con artist, you can't con a con artist. Con artist, <laughs> you can't bullshit a bullshitter. Basically, that's what this feels like. And someone tried to because they thought that they were above them. Oh, they're not gonna know what to do. I don't know. Whoever was doing something, no, 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 um, is up shit's creek without a paddle, and it's gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna, it's gonna hit this person like a ton of bricks. Cause I feel like my life is grandiose and wonderful you know I've worked really hard to get to wherever the hell I'm at like this this was this person that's ha like their life they probably went to school you know they, they do have a good job like this person has a, a nice life I guess and they worked hard for it but that's gonna get ripped away in a second because of what they're pulling because of what they're doing I want to know what's wrong something is wrong what is this king of cups it could be with a cancer Pisces Scorpio um yeah, this person's wearing a mask, whoever they are. They think they're all high and mighty. Oh, 
Nobody's paying attention to anyone. They're all doing their own thing. I'm just saying. Because there's quite a few people in that card. Hmm. Something is wrong. Like, none of us are working together. None of us are part of this. Because they're all doing their own thing. Quote, unquote. But they're all sitting at the same damn table. Like, they're all part of something. So this person has, I don't know, people on their side or something. Anyways, we have the Queen of Wands. They're all looking at this person. This person is the one that has their eye ripped out. <laughs> like, I thought she was winking. I can't remember what reading that was. I was like, oh, she's winking. Oh, crap. No, she's not. That was bad. But anyways, um... She sees. It's like she, for some reason, this person looks like they're blind to the situation, but they're not. They're not. So you know exactly what's going on. Why is something wrong? What is this? Maybe some of you have been trying to express that, like something's wrong in this situation, but nobody fucking listens. A new, be <coughs> a new beginning. <coughs> oh gosh the night of wands yeah there's that fucking passion I was talking about <sighs> somebody's waiting for the the perfect opportunity to talk to you to come in to tempt you I don't know whoever this is might have anger issues um cause this a orangutan dude is like breaking shit just demolishing the house so if this is an ex of yours this person could have you know thrown stuff or been violent in some way they could have gotten upset because of because of passion I don't know if they've cheated on you or if they thought you cheated on them or if you did whichever way it goes because there's something to do with, I just heard, I know you like me. I know you like me. I know you like me. I don't know, someone has anger issues, but what is that about? I know you like me. One, two, three, tap, tap, tap. SOS. Ooh. I don't like that. I, okay, because I've talked about this before. There's so much passion in here. I'm just saying, someone might not be able to control themselves. I'm just going to say, because they felt like it was coming out of my skin. Originally, it didn't feel bad, but now it feels bad. But I don't know if it's the same person or not. I don't know. I really don't know. It just depends on your situation. Something's wrong here. Like, something feels off. Something feels wrong. Maybe you backed out of a situation because of that. But this feels like I've waited and waited and waited. I, it's obsession. There's obsession here. And because I've talked about, like, graping situations and stuff where sometimes women will even if they say no and they don't want it they'll just do whatever because it's like all right I don't want to escalate a situation it depends on the situation and if if you're worried about someone freaking the f out you know what I mean like and, and physically harming you because it's almost like I can put my mind somewhere else and pretend this didn't happen kind of thing even if you do think about it it's horrible that that happens but women have done it for freaking eons I'm just saying just to avoid problems because I feel like it's almost like if you tell this person no, they're going to lose their mind. Like, lose their mind. They have a temper, whoever this is. You could know, especially if it's someone from your past, but if some type of influence is here, they're being influenced, or they could be under the influence when they get this way. I don't know, I feel like someone's going to get handsy. Like, I can't stand it, I want to do you, do you, do you. And um, they might get... Mm, yeah, not cool with you because 
because you say no and start smash, smashing stuff around the house or the area. I don't know, someone's going to get physical. And it's not, let's get physical. It's not that. It's... Whoosh. This is not what I expected at all. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Something is wrong. Okay, well, give me more on something is wrong. Just breathe. Everything's going to be okay. Because I feel like i got to calm myself down or you're calming someone down. Like, just breathe. Everything's going to be okay. It's okay. Calm down. Someone's going to need to calm down. So I don't know if you're going to be the one to be like, oh, just calm down. Or you're going to tell yourself that or someone's going to say that to you. Like, just calm down. It's okay. It's going to be okay. What the hell is this? Because I just heard, like, calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Dad's here. Dad's here. It's okay. Calm down. Is someone's dad gonna, like, be there for the aftermath or something? There's a drunken rage here. Hmm. Regardless of the dad being there for some of you, um, or that are, that didn't have, this hasn't happened. No, it hasn't. This energy is complete shit. I'm just, I don't like this at all. I'm really sorry if you're going through this or if you're going to. Yeah, you're strong enough to get through this. You will get through this. Just keep pushing forward. Um, I'm not saying fear this. There's someone here with liver issues. Maybe somebody's father passed away that way. Or there's a dad with liver issues. Because they... Alright, there is a father, grandfather. I don't know, father figure. No matter who that is. I don't know if it's yours, theirs. I don't know who the hell it is. Someone has liver issues. Probably due to drinking. Whoever this is probably has a temper as well. There's someone who has liver issues. What is something wrong? Hmm. The lovers. Could be a choice between two, but... Someone gave you someone's number. Like, I don't know if there's someone who gave you their number. I don't know if it, the person gave you their number or if you got someone's number through somebody else. But it's like, here's my number. Here's my number. I don't know. Is there something to do with giving someone your number, your phone number? Whatever that is. And then the Three of Pumpkins, which is the Three of Pentacles. It's a collaboration working together. Multiple people. Queen of Wands. Does somebody have your work number? Because that feels like work, but it could be three people who have your telephone number. I don't know. Like... Gave you my number. Somebody gave someone their telephone number. Whatever that significance is. I'm not really sure what it's about. But you could have given a king of cups a water sign your number. Or they gave you theirs. Friends. You, a friend. A friend has your number. I don't know. <laughs> Why the hell that's so damn significant? It has something to do with someone's telephone number? I don't know. A friend has your number. 
someone has your fucking telephone number and I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> I really don't, but it's in here. believe someone has your work number or something I don't know maybe that's just what it is like you gave someone your work number not your home number or your personal line or something it's something to do with a work phone someone has someone's work number if it's not like a work phone it could be like you gave someone your number for work and they might be calling you for something else. Huh, whatever it is. I don't know. Well, we have the Empress, <laughs> which has a new beginning here. There's someone who's looking at the Empress, I'm just saying. Um, and the Seven of Pumpkins, which is the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like I'm just waiting for the shoe to drop. I'm waiting for a problem. So I'm just waiting for something to happen. I've been waiting to work together with you. I've been waiting to invest. I've been waiting for this. Someone's going to get mad about something. Because they've been waiting. The Empress hasn't been waiting for bullshit. You know what I mean? Like whatever this is. This pissy pants person has been waiting for something. And I feel like whoever's been left waiting I guess... Whether you're aware of it or not, is not happy that you have a new beginning. They're not happy that you're moving on. That you're like, eh, whatever. Like, you forgot about them. You forgot about me. I don't know. Someone forgot about someone, apparently. And they're going to have a shit fit. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to have to heal from this. The Four of Lightning. The Four of Swords. Someone hasn't healed. Time heals all wounds, my ass. Someone hasn't healed. I've been waiting to heal things, to reconcile, to work together. Someone's been waiting to work together with you. And I feel like you're not even thinking about them or looking at them or anything. And with whatever this new opportunity is if you give someone your number or something I don't know what that's about wow someone's going to lose their freaking shit they're going to lose their shit yeah when you have a new beginning when you take a leap of faith when you take a risk it's going to be a bad risk because this is where he lights the black flame candle the virgin lights the candle oh there it is <laughs> the night of candles lights the passion and then it's bad I don't know, the passion ignited with the wrong mofo is what I want to say. Hmm. You play with fire, you're going to get burned because that's what that feels like. I don't know. I'm getting out of here because this one's weird. I don't like this energy at all. I don't know who you are, but, you know, just you're protected, you're safe. Really listen to yourself because I feel like You'll know something's wrong. Like, with this person in this situation, you, you'll have that off feeling. Like, <coughs> don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Someone's going to lose their shit. That's really what it feels like. Maybe within the community, because they feel left out. And... Maybe other people know, or a lot of people know. Like, I don't know. There could be a level of embarrassment here, too, where someone's like, eh, screw this. Uh, I don't know. And it has something to do with intoxication. Someone's going to have, they're going to tip a few back, and it's they're going to get the liquid courage, and for the, all the wrong reasons is what it feels like, because something's wrong. Pay attention. Pay attention to how you feel around people, around an Aries, potentially. Something to do with crystals and stones. Yeah, someone's upset. This will either leave you crying or this person's been shedding tears over you. We need to talk. Please talk to me. 
Someone really wants to talk to you. Don't rush things. Someone wants to be more than friends. And I feel like there could be someone in a situation that maybe you want to level up with too, but hopefully it's not the one that goes el nutso. I'm just saying, because someone's going to lose their mind. They're going to lose their mind. Either when you move forward or just because it's taken so long. And be careful who you trust. Because things aren't always as they seem. Unaware, unconscious, unawakened. Yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like for some of you, even if you have an off feeling, you're totally unaware of what this person's capable of. Whoever they are to you. Um, th this feels very obsessive. Very obsessive. It's almost like, I just wanted to say, be careful what you wish for. Meeting destiny, discovery, travel. Whatever this is, it's supposed to happen in a certain way because it could be an eye-opening experience, but I kind of feel like no matter how eh, the situation gets, I feel like you're protected and you're safe. Like things are going to, it will work out basically for you. Like you're not going to, you're not going to die. You're not going to be like injured and in, like severely traumatized and injured, like, like severely injured or anything. I don't know if you're going to get smacked or not. I really don't. Like I can't, I'm not going to say yes or no with any of that stuff, but this is a very small message. I should just, I don't know. This isn't for everyone. That's for sure. Yeah, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energies. So just make sure you're protecting yourself and being smart, ultimately, because you could avoid the situation completely if you listen to yourself. Because, um, I mean, there could even be people who look alike, like sisters, brothers, whether they're twins or not, because siblings usually do look similar. Um, so it could be family members. But sometimes friends look similar, you know? Like... My daughter and one of her friends, certain pictures of them, they do look like sisters and they're not related at all, you know? I just, I don't know, there's something like that. But it's, <clears throat> it's almost like just because two things look similar don't mean they're the same. Especially internally. You know what I mean? Like, even if somebody portrays themselves to, to act a certain way or be a certain way, it doesn't mean that's how they are. Because uh, there just could be similarities between two people, even if they're not related or anything. But one is El Nutso. Like, legit. Legit, legit El Nutso. And one isn't. No matter who these people are. Hmm. that's what I have for you hopefully it helps hopefully it makes sense sorry um, I'll probably have to do a bonus for you guys because like I said this one's very minor I like it's very small I don't know who the hell it's for but it'll make sense to you if it's for you and I love you a long time peace